What's up guys, Philip at Trade Genius. All right, in this video, I wanted to show you guys a very interesting chart of gold. And what we're gonna look at is when the uh, first futures contracts were traded on it. And then we're gonna look at when the first physically gold back ETF was introduced and how this affected gold. So we're gonna go way back, look at the uh, historical price charts and you're gonna see some pretty amazing uh, price action. And then we're gonna look at that relative to Bitcoin. So let's check that out in this video. Genius. Guys, just a reminder, we got a day left or so on our specials, Cyber Monday week specials. And these will be the lowest prices that you can get any of our specials. So if you've been thinking about it, now is the time. These are 12 month packages and uh, you can get in for as little as $2.99. Uh, a few of our trade signals will easily pay for that. So check it out. We got various options. Again, that's ending in about a day. So check that out. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys was the gold chart here. Now, a couple of interesting um, spots on the chart that we wanna point out. Let me get my pointer up. Right here, this is the end of 1974, and the gold futures were first introduced on COMEX, okay? You can notice that price ran up to that point, and then futures introduced, price dropped for quite a while. Now. We're not gonna see the same time frame that we have here because things just moved a lot slower back then and, and in the crypto world, things just move way faster. Not to mention that we're just, everything in general moves a lot faster in this day and age. So what we see here is we got a, we had a, 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 a correction for a while and then it bottomed out, a lot like what we've seen uh, so far in Bitcoin since the futures top. And then we started to grind back higher. And actually gold then went on to produce a move of 367% from the previous all-time high. So it took a little while, corrected, and then moved back up. Fast forward to 2003. Now keep in mind that we got an ETF approval that we're looking for around the first quarter of 2019. And we may not even get an approval on that, but Again, there's other platforms and things and other ETF type instruments across the pond, like in Europe, that are actually already underway. So, you know, the American ETF may not be approved uh, soon, but there are other products being introduced. But to note here, uh, in 2003, first gold back ETF was introduced in Australia. And that, from that moment there, we went on a 400 and almost 70% rise in the price of gold. So, you know, we're between the futures introduction and an ETF being introduced here in the United States, but you also have other products that are already gonna be taking basically that position with um, the backed platform by the Intercontinental Exchange and other various instruments like ETFs that are traded in the European countries. So those things are happening. But what it does, guys, is it's going to allow a lot more um, investors, a lot more money supply into the ecosystem, which is a very finite ecosystem of uh, Bitcoin. There's only 21 million Bitcoin, guys, and there's just going to be a lot of um, money that's going to be looking for a store of value, much like gold. So as things mature and people understand what Bitcoin is, again, this is early in the game still, guys. Uh, most of you guys that have been watching us, you guys can consider yourself early adopters. A lot of people just don't understand the space. But as things progress and different types of funds, uh, pension funds, things like that start opening up, they'll start recognizing that you know, this is another asset class that they can invest in. So there will be a ton of upside yet to come. And basically, long-term strategy is to get yourself some Bitcoin. There's going to be a point where people won't be able to own one whole Bitcoin. There's just not going to be enough to go around. So food for thought there, guys. Uh, again, gold futures saw a similar run up sell off like we saw that also created another run up that blew out the all time highs. And then when the ETF came in, that's when you saw a multi year secular bull run. And I think that will probably end up happening with Bitcoin. People will come up and say, oh, here's another blow off top and it actually gets consumed and continues to ride for a multi-year run. And uh, that'll change the landscape and get Bitcoin to levels that'll probably level off and be more of a stable uh, unit of value at that point. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. If you're on mobile, ring that bell and I will see you on the next video. Take care, bye.
Trade Genius.